Hello, welcome to our maths class for today. In today's class, we are going to learn how to solve 3 to the power of 3x minus 2 to the power of 2x equal to 3 to the power of x. We are asked to find the value of x. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more uh, simplified math solution. Thank you very much. And uh, let's see how we solve this question. To solve this question, we are going to simplify first the exponents. And from the exponent, you should note that 3 to the power of x is equal to, it can give us 2x plus x. And uh, uh, 2 to the power of x can be equal to x plus x. So we'll simplify that. And this will give us 3 to the power of 2x plus x minus 3 to the power of x plus x. And this will be equal to 3 to the power of x. Now remember a lot of indices that if you have uh, a to the power of x plus y, this can be equal to a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of y. So if we do that, we are going to uh, have these values to be equal to 3 to the power of 2x multiply by 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x multiply by 3 to the power of x and that will be equal to 3 to the power of x so if we bring this 3 to the power over here it becomes negative we have 3 to the power of 2x multiply by 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x multiply by 3 to the power of x and this will be minus 3 to the power of x and that will be equal to 0. So we have different values here and in all 3 to the power of x is common. So we'll bring out 3 to the power of x and 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of x. If we dive, divide it by 3 to the power of x, we are going to have 3 to the power of 2x remaining over there. And for here, we're going to have a negative 2 to the power of x remaining. And from here, we're going to have a negative 1 remaining. And this will be equal to 0. Now we have two values. 3 to the power of x is equal to 0. And then we'll have a 3 to the power of 2x minus 3 to the power of x minus 1 to be equal to 0. So on this right hand side, 3 to the power of x equal to 0 is not true because 3 to the power of x cannot be equal to 0. For all values of x, 3 to the power of x cannot be equal to 0. Now let's make uh, 3, uh, x to be equal to 0. Now you want to confirm that 3 to the power of 0 cannot be equal to 0. Why? Because 3 to the power of 0 is 1, and 1 cannot be equal to 0. So for all values of x, even negative values, 3 to the power of x can never be equal to 0. So as a result of that, we are going to neglect this solution. So we'll go to look for the next two solutions. And the next two solutions will come out from this quadratic formula. 3 to the power of 2x minus 3 to the power of x minus 1 equal to 0. So that's a quadratic equation. And I want us to solve that quadratic equation. To solve this quadratic equation, we're going to take 3 to the power of x to be equal to y. If 3 to the power of x is equal to y, that means 3 to the power of 2x will be equal to y squared. So if we apply that over there, we're going to have uh, y squared minus y minus 1 to be equal to 0 and that is a quadratic equation so if we simplify that quadratic equation we're going to get a value for x from here using the quadratic formula our y a will be equal to 1 our b will be equal to negative 1 and our c will be equal to negative 1 so 
applying the quadratic formula we're going to have our y to be equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so if we substitute the values for a b and c we're going to have our y to be equal to a negative bracket negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 and then multiply by negative 1 or will be divided by 2 multiplied by 1 so our value for y will be equal to minus times minus will give us 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus minus times plus will give us minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 1 is 4 so we are going to have this to become a positive 4 all divided by 2 so this is going to make our y to be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So the two values for y we can extract from this is our y will be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 or we can have a 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So these are the two solutions. Now, remember, we are looking for the value of x. And we said our 3 to the power of x is equal to y. So let's apply that for the two solutions. For the first solution, we have our y to be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So if we substitute the value for y, we'll have our 3 to the power of x to be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So to solve that, we are simply going to take the log of both sides. We'll take the log of both sides, the natural log of both sides. We'll have the natural log of 3 to the power of x to be equal to the natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. According to the law for log written, this will come over here. So we'll have our x, the natural log of 3, to be equal to the natural log of 1 plus root 5 minus the natural log of 2. Now remember the law of log written that if you have the log of a divided by b this can be equal to log of a minus log of b as the division law of log written so we apply that here to get that value so to get the value of x we are going to divide both sides by the natural log of 3 So natural log of 3 will clear the natural log of 3 and our value for x will be equal to the natural log of 1 plus root 5 minus 1 natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 3. Now if we simplify this, we are going to get the value for x that satisfy that expression. Now remember we have two solutions. The next solution is 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. So if y is equal to if y is equal to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 and our 3 to the power of x is equal to y, so we'll find the value of y. So if we put that in, substitute that in, we'll have 3 to the power of x to be equal to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. I remember that root 5 is 
less than zero. So if root five is less than zero, one minus a value less than zero is equal to, is going to give us a negative value, right? So at every value of x, we're going to have a positive value. Why this is a positive value? I remember a positive value can never be equal to a negative value. So as a result of that, we are going to neglect this solution. So the only solution we we'll have as a solution to that exponential equation is this solution. So that is the solution to the exponential equation we have up there. That's the solution to that exponential equation uh, uh, that is given to us. So this is how to solve this equation. Don't forget to give this video a like and also uh, subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solution. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.